All right, today I'm going to review something deeply hidden. Quantum Worlds and the Emergence of Space-Time by Sean Carroll. So this book is a really interesting book. Uh, it's not Sean Carroll's first book. If you're not familiar with him, he's like an astrophysicist or he does something with like physics and like quantum uh, math stuff, you know. I'm not sure exactly what his title is. I do know he's pretty prominent in like the public for the field. I think he's been on Joe Rogan's podcast a couple times. He's written a number of different books. He's kind of like a, a big public personality communicating the ideas of quantum mechanics to a more general audience. And this book is really all about nailing down what I think is perhaps the most interesting aspect of quantum mechanics or physics. Or It's really, when you're talking about quantum mechanics and all that, craziness. There's all these weird things that are happening. We have really good uh, algorithms for predicting exactly what happens in these uh, quantum states, but it's really unclear exactly what what's actually happening. We have good math that uh, is very predictive of experimental results, but nobody really knows what's happening here. A lot of it is just uh, math and it's just these algorithms but understanding what that means for like the true nature of reality is really unclear. And a lot of physicists don't talk about it or they don't try to talk about it. And so this book is just about that point. It's trying to explain exactly what is happening in reality uh, in these quantum states when quantum mechanics is happening. And in order to do that, because it's not like a definite thing. People, there's a lot of uncertainties. There's different theories. So this book is explaining a lot of the uncertainties, it's, it explains different theories for what's happening and it shows you like the differences between the different theories. The book isn't exactly a fair comparison though. Sean Carroll is clearly in one camp. He's in the mini worlds interpretation or the Everett, or I forgot what the other term for it. It's the mini worlds interpretation and the mini worlds interpretation is an interpretation of physics that says what's actually happening uh, when a w wave converts into a particle is that the wave function is like decohering. Like it's like uh, the wave function gets entangled and then uh, the particles, once the wave function collapses, like the particles interact and then they become entangled. And then that entanglement spreads really fast and it fractures the, the wave function and it kind of splits in all these different versions of what could have happened uh manifest and kind of like it coexist in space together except they never interact with each other it's this really odd way of thinking about the universe and this book tries to explain it and tries to explain why it's not a crazy idea it really sean carroll goes into a, a goes through a lot of effort to communicate exactly why it's not crazy and uh I think the book was really successful on that front because the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics has always seemed really crazy. But this book does do a great job of showing you why it's a very logical theory to believe in. And really, it comes down to uh, assumptions in quantum mechanics. And the argument for the many worlds interpretation is that uh, it has the least assumptions because... What the equations seem to imply, the, the quantum mechanic equations, they seem to imply many worlds. But what a lot of physicists did to get rid of the many worlds is they had to add extra stuff into their model to get rid of all these extra worlds because they thought it was crazy. That was like, can't be that way, obviously. So they had to add more things into the theory to get it to mirror what they actually thought was happening in reality. And so the book does a lot of examining why that's a, a bad interpretation uh, Occam's razor and there's there's a lot of good arguments for why the mini worlds interpretation is good it's it's good at under at explaining why it's logical it's not entirely convincing that it's the right answer uh, I, I came away with from the book thinking that there's so much uncertainty with what's happening that uh, you should really take any explanation with a grain of salt uh, but I will say the book was really interesting this is a really fascinating topic. Not many people talk about it. And 
it was really thought provoking to just read all these ideas and really try to imagine what's happening. Uh, so for that reason, I think I would definitely recommend this book to anybody that's interested in quantum mechanics. I will say though, that if you do want to read this book, while it is pretty accessible, there is a section in the middle, like kind of the middle to the late middle that gets pretty technical and convoluted and you really have to pay attention and keep track of what's going on. And if you're not a reader who can really concentrate on complex ideas, then a lot of this book might be super tedious to read or you might just skip parts of it. Uh, I think he probably could have cut out some of the content in the middle area to just simplify it. He tries to tie up all these loose ends. I'm imagining he's probably doing that to satisfy a lot of like other physicists who will be uh, you know reading this book and judging him on how he's representing the field. And so he might have done a lot of like uh, tidying up and clarifying just to please that audience, even though it wasn't maybe it wasn't really very useful for the general audience. Because he communicates these big ideas, but then he does all this cleanup work of like, uh, you know, tying up loose ends. And it's it didn't really add anything to the book and it kind of drug in that area. So, I mean, it's not a perfect book, but the ideas that he's talking about are so interesting that I think a lot of people would really enjoy uh, reading this book and really thinking through what he's talking about and trying to imagine exactly what is really happening Uh in these like quantum, uh, these quantum mechanic, the quantum fields, or I don't know what you really call it, but uh, it's a complicated topic and it's it's beyond me to explain it here, but I really enjoyed the book and I think a lot of other people will enjoy the book if the, uh, just, if you, the title grabs you and you're interested just on the title and the subtitle, then definitely pick the book up. I think that's enough. If you're interested in the subject matter, it's going to be a really good book for you. But be prepared to slog through the middle or just kind of skim the middle uh, and kind of just get the, the main takeaways from the book. But definitely I would recommend it. Hope a lot of people read it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, so hope you guys like this review. I've got more reviews coming soon. So like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.